I am showing you how you can transfer a Minecraft Bedrock Edition Texture Pack to Java Edition in really just a matter of seconds. So the first thing you want to have is the pack that you want down just somewhere in a location where you know that it is. In my case, it's on my desktop. This is my own texture pack too, by the way. I'll link my texture packs down in the description if you want to check those out. Anyways, what you want to do next is go over to It's Me64's Texture Pack Version Converter. Yep, that's my name in it. It's also actually my website. Basically, what this allows you to do is really easily transfer your texture pack from one version to another in honestly the matter of seconds. So we can choose our file right over here. I know mine is saved on my desktop. There we go, it's V64's tool revamp. Now that I have that selected, I can choose the current version as Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and then choose the version of Minecraft Java Edition I want to transfer it to. In this case, the latest version is 1.20.6, so I'm going to select that version. Once Minecraft updates and new versions get added, they will automatically show up here as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Anyways, now that I have all of this filled in, I can click on Convert over here. Whilst my pack is converting, I'm going to be brought over to this ad page for just around 5 seconds. As you can see, once those 5 seconds are done, I can click on skip over here, and I'll get a notification that the download of my new pack has automatically started, which is great, and my pack should be my downloads now. Now, um, you, we aren't actually done here just yet. As you can see, there's a link for extra information for converting to and from Bedrock Edition, which I'm going to go to real quick. As you can see, we have an area here for Java to Bedrock, and if we scroll down a little, Bedrock to Java as well. We're converting from Bedrock to Java Edition, so this is the part we want to have. Anyways, if we scroll down a little bit more, we'll see there's some information here. And basically what this explains is that when converting from Bedrock to Java Edition, there are some textures that simply don't exist on Minecraft Bedrock Edition that are in Minecraft Java Edition or stuff like that. You know, things that are just completely incompatible. And because of that, um, your texture pack might seem incomplete when you import it into Java Edition. Now, if your texture pack only, for example, changes the way swords look, then you're going to be fine. But if you, for example, have a faithful texture pack that retextures everything in the entire game, then you might notice one or two textures missing. And that's what this explains. Here, we have some tools. As you can see, you can hover above these sections and they will tell you exactly what files, what textures, and their locations that are missing. So if you're converting your own texture pack, then as you can see, this is actually going to help you out and fill out and complete that pack. Also, if you scroll down a little, there's some cool statistics. Anyways, now as you can see in my downloads, I have the Java Edition pack. It's been randomly renamed to prevent errors in the system of my website. But I can rename it back to, in this case, h 64s tool revamp. And then I'll put Java behind it so I know that this is the Java Edition pack. Anyways, next I can press on Windows and R at the same time, then type in App Data, just like so. I can hit Enter or click on OK, and that's going to open up this folder right here. I then want to go into Roaming, not Minecraft, and here I should find the Resource Packs folder. As you can see, I already have some stuff in this, but that's completely fine. I can drag my updated or converted pack right into this folder, and then when I start up Minecraft, it should show up. Here in the Minecraft launcher, I know I... Here in the Minecraft launcher, I know I transferred my pack to 1.20.6, so that's the version I'm going to select. Select the version, of course, that you converted your pack to. And if you do want, you can of course also convert it to multiple different versions. And of course, when your pack becomes outdated because new versions of Minecraft come out, you can use this tool to update them to the latest version as well, which is great. Anyways, here we have Minecraft, in this case 1.20.6. If I go into Options and Resource Packs now, you'll find it's V64's Tool Revamp. I can enable it, just like so, and then I can click on Done. And that is now going to be enabled and working. Anyways, that was basically that. That is how simple it is. If this video did help you out, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. 
Anyways, for right now, that was basically that. If you do have any more questions or if you're experiencing any issues with the website, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.